Hello everyone, welcome back to year 2 science lesson. We are now in unit 9, Earth. So the topic for today's lesson is natural sources of water. If you are ready, let's get to it. Let's go. Let's go. Alright boys and girls, before we start, please get ready with your science textbook and turn to page 101 until 103. In page 101, you will find this unit, unit 9, Earth. Now, let us read the information in page 101. In this page, you can find this song with the title, Water and Air. This is the lyrics, but if you want to listen to this song, you will have to scan the QR code. But for now, we just read the lyrics, okay? But you are welcome to scan the QR code letter and listen to the song. Okay, now let's read the lyric. Water and air. Flowing of water in the river. Never stop, never stop. From where the source originated. Let's learn, let's learn. Fresh air blowing. Fresh air blowing. Its movement can be felt, gives effect to the life. Let's investigate together. Alright, this is the lyrics of the song with the title Water and Air. As I said just now, if you want to listen to the original song, you can scan the QR code here and you, will, you can listen later on your phone, alright? Now, let's read uh, more in this page. The air here is so fresh. Water and air are the basic sources of life. Where does water originate from? Alright, here I will explain to you. Here in the picture, you can see a family. They are at the waterfall. And then the boy said, The air here is so fresh. Do you know what is air? Air in Bahasa means udara. Fresh means segar. So the air is fresh. And then, Water and air are basic sources of life. Okay, air dan udara adalah sumber asas dalam kehidupan. And then, where does water originate from? Originate means asal dia. Okay, datangnya. Okay, so where does water originate from? Maksudnya, air datang daripada mana? Sumber air. So now we are going to discuss where does water originate from. Alright boys and girls, now please refer to page 102 in your textbook, Natural Sources of Water. We are going to discuss this together, okay? What are the natural sources of water on our earth? So now we are going to look into what are the natural sources of water on earth. The first one is rain, hujan, water droplets that fall to the, to the earth from clouds. Alright, obviously you know what is rain, isn't it? Hujan. And then lakes, a large area of water that is surrounded by land. In Bahasa, we call it tase. Okay, and then seas, a large part of the Earth's surface that is covered with salt water. Seas, I'm sure you know what seas is, isn't it? Lautan. Okay, the natural sources of water on our Earth are rain, rivers, lakes, seas and springs now what is springs let's check out what is springs what does it mean by springs all right springs is a place where underground water flows out to the earth surface springs in bahasa we call it mata air all right all right this is the what does it mean by spring a place where underground water flows out to the earth surface and then rivers in bahasa we call it sungai rains that fall to the earth from streams of water called rivers. Let's revise. The natural sources of water on our earth are rain, remember, rivers, lakes, seas, and springs. So these are the natural sources of water on earth. Please remember that. All right, boys and girls, I have one important question for you. What would happen if there is no water on earth? So, do you know what would happen to us? And also the animals and the plants. What would happen if there are no water on earth at all? Right? 
I will pin this question in the comment section below. Please put your answers there. Alright, I'm looking forward to it. Alright, now let's move on to your science activity book, page 63. Right, you find this exercise natural sources of water do you still remember there are five already just now isn't it such as rain river lake seas what's the other one spring yes you still remember there are five so in this page you will find four pictures the natural sources of water so your job is to color the, the picture here just color the picture please color it nicely picture a picture b picture c and picture d and then what are the water sources above a what is this is it rain river lake sea or spring all right you name it based on the boxes here and then B what is this C and D I think you should know the answer by now but here this is my uh, clue for you the answer is rain lake sea and river only so there are no spring so there are no spring all right just these four rain lake sea and river so you choose which picture refers to the water sources here please write down neatly next page 64 all right this is very straightforward to you identify the natural sources of water label the natural sources of water in the picture below right you will have to label this based on the answers here given to you here river rain sea lake and spring and then look at the picture carefully and then label them in the space provided here easy isn't it good luck everyone all right everyone that's about it for today's lesson i hope to see you in the next video for another lesson till then take care stay safe and bye bye